I don't know how well this has been reproduced on YouTube, but I painted this uh, picture of some fishermen in states in really thick, juicy paint squirted out of tubes in outrage. So let's get into it. I painted this scene in states a couple of times now, and um, I think sometimes it's nice to take the same scene and paint it in a totally different way. So pre previously I did this with a sort of um, using the um, burnt twig brush, I think, in Procreate that gave it a very sort of pencily look to it. And this time I wanted to do it using thick oil paint. And I mean really thick. So... I was going in with the tubes of paint to see if I can get a nice effect on this rock face and also use the tubes of paint on the fisherman that you can see um, on the right there. But I, I began this as I normally do with a roller uh, when I'm using it. When I say normally do, I mean only in Art Rage. This is Art Rage on the iPad, by the way. So I used the roller to get a, a coat of local color on there. And then I decided that I'd totally messed up the um, rock face and I got it way too far over to the left. So I wanted to move that. So instead of moving it, I thought I'm going to do it the painterly way. I'm just going to repaint it and position it uh, in a, a better lo location rather than trying to cut it and move it or anything like that. Partly because I could... <laughs> I couldn't find the tools in Art Rage on the iPad to cut and paste. And so there's a question for you, you guys. If you know if there is a way in Art Rage on the iPad to cut and paste uh, an area of um, a painting, let me know. I know how to um, resize a layer. So if I painted the mountain on a single layer, I could have resized that. But it dawned on me that I hadn't, I didn't see any way where I could um, select and cut and paste just a, a local area. So there's a question for you. Uh, hopefully, somebody will be able to answer me that one. So as you can see, I really am going in here on these buildings, almost abstract with these these tubes of paint just sort of squirting it on. I, I love doing that. And then I'm using the hard out palette knife, uh, I believe, to uh, blend away. I mean, with the tubes of paint, you've got to have a palette knife to um, blend those colours out. And I don't, you know, I'm, I'm just, I just love the abstractness of this, where I just sort of squirt some paint on and then just push it, it around a bit with a palette knife to get that really nice, thick effect and okay you look close they're not buildings but you stand back a bit and they certainly are buildings uh, i'm selecting the colors for this one off of the color circle or color uh, arc i suppose it's not a full circle is it and i want that thick paint i like it on the foreground again with it with those tubes of paint i think that just adds so much to the sort of texture of the painting i think i, I wanted to do this because i went around the gallery uh this not this week the week before and uh, saw some some use of thick paint where they painted uh, this sort of seascape with uh, mostly with a brush and then they'd used a palette knife to lay on some really uh, thick paint just in one area of the painting and it looked absolutely stunning so that I, I think quite often I get motivated a lot of the paintings that you see on this channel are done because I've been in a gallery somewhere and got inspired by something and thought oh that'd be really cool I want to have a go at that and then I'll, I'll come home and start painting in that style what i'm doing now i'm sort of painting in this track in the sand where the, these fishermen have dragged this boat i watch them drag the boat along the sand towards the uh shoreline to get it in the water and uh, i wanted that to sort of lead you in so we've got this sort of zigzagging where 
it, we've got this track in the sand then it goes across the shoreline and then you can follow it back um along the hillside or the rock face i guess and it all leads you to the, the same place of, of where these fishermen uh, are getting their boat ready to go fishing so again i'm just sort of whacking that in with the tubes of paint squirting it on god knows how much paint you would use if you did this with the uh, real paint you would use loads of it um I, I can't imagine me um being able to afford to do many paintings like this so once again just sort of it was interesting sketching in the shapes with uh, a tube of paint um not the easiest way uh, of, of going about something to be honest using the palette knife and then i went in with the brush and i'm using the um thick oil paint brush to, so th the the main brushes i used in the oil of the painting apart from the roller for the initial coat of paint was the uh, tubes of paint to get in all of the color on and then i used the um arch edged or is it um i can't remember the name of the palette knife i used i'll put the palette knife uh, the actual one that i used uh i'll i'll put it on the screen somewhere so where you can see that and uh, and i used a thick oil paint brush and that those are the only brushes i used in this one and uh i found that um some sometimes the thick paint was just a little bit uh, when I say the thick paint, using the um, tubes of paint was just a, a little bit too much with the palette knife and it was just getting a bit too smudged. And I did need in odd places to use the paintbrush just to get the kind of sharpness I wanted, getting the reflections in there on the uh, in the, the sea of the rock face. So I, I always find foreground really difficult. How much detail do you put in? Do you because this is a pretty much abstract painting it's an abstract piece really so i didn't want to go crazy with detail but you still want to kind of get the effects of the um the way the sand's been disturbed by dragging that boat in and, and all of that kind of thing and the footprints in the sand but you don't want to paint them in with a lot of detail so so there is that um I went over the, the sky and I, I pretty much did that with the uh, brush to start with. And then uh, then I used tubes of paint, as you can see there. Uh, I just felt that it wasn't matching in with the rest of the painting, just with the roller. It needed uh, painting in and it still looked, I, I felt at this point, it was looking a bit bland and uh, dreary and it needed lifting up in some way. And using that, um tubes of paint it just wasn't working i left it like that for a little while to have a think about what i was going to do with it and then decided to reflect that color from the sky into the sand a little bit just to add the continuity of the color throughout the painting so it looks balanced and it doesn't look like i've got two different paintings going off like the top half and the bottom half so as you can see i'm sort of really trying not to um get rid of all of the texture in there that would that that's kind of defeats the object of using the tubes of paint i wanted it to have a, a bit of a textured feel to it i've uh, decided to put a little bit of shadow work a tiny bit of shadow work on the boat there's uh so, so i don't know what that beat was all about i really don't I get it signed. So at this point, I, I kind of thought it was all right, but then I create a new layer and uh, I start working on the sky again because I felt it needed something like a glaze, I suppose. I wanted a transparent um, color over the top of this so it, you could see the color underneath, but this would add uh, a depth to it that I just wasn't getting uh, just painting straight on uh, top of the original layer so this painting did require two layers to uh, to get what i wanted and then i put that highlight in over the hill uh, over the rock face and 
it to me I, I kept looking at it and thinking it's just totally pulling you away from the fisherman which is where i really want you to be looking so i knocked that back again i then decide to knock the buildings back a little bit i found them a little bit distracting so i stayed on the same layer i didn't change the blend mode or anything like that but what i did do was whack the thinners up on the paintbrush so they become um really transparent just to add that little bit of shadow and knock them buildings back and there we are my fisherman at stace pretty abstract hope you've enjoyed this painting if you have a big thumbs up as always is much appreciated because i've got lots of videos like this painting in art rage and procreate and teosui sketches and loads of other apps so hopefully i'll see you all in the next one bye